In a common form of the card game poker, a hand of five cards is dealt to each player from a deck of 52. Okay, so we're getting five out of 52. Sounds like a combination to me. How many different hands are possible? So notice this is not a probability question. We want five out of 52. Order doesn't matter in a card game. So that's 52 choose five. Now I want to tell you that number, bless you, that number comes up a lot. Okay, so much. 52 choose 5 does, that you might end up memorizing this number right here. All right, 2598960. It just comes up kind of a lot. Poker questions, five card poker questions are really, really common when we're talking about counting and probability. So make sure you know your stuff about cards, how many hearts, how many face cards, how many suits, you know, that kind of thing. What's the probability of dealing five hearts, all right? It's called a flush when you get five of the same suit, but this problem specifically calls for five hearts. So notice it's a probability question this time. So probability is part of our total. Probability of five hearts. We'll think about the part that we're thinking about. Okay, the total is gonna be 52 choose five. We already know that. That's the total number of ways of dealing five cards, All right? But the part, we want five hearts, okay? So think about it. five hearts out of how many hearts? How many? 13, right? Okay, so five hearts out of 13 hearts is going to be 13 choose five, all right? Now, Technically, that's all we would have to do, but one thing that I like to do is I like to say, well, and that means out of the 39 other cards, we're choosing zero. And so, again, the only reason I like to do that is because I like to see how that adds up to 52 and 5. Okay? My numerator shows 52 and 5, but 39 choose zero is 1. So, again, if you skip that part, it's not going to make a, a difference whatsoever. We need 13 choose 5. And that's 1287 over 259896060. Oh. So 1287 divided by 259896060. Oh. Point zero zero. Okay, so here I don't think four decimals is quite descriptive enough, so I would go past four decimals. Um, zero, 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 four, nine, five. Um, I don't really have a hard, fast rule for how many decimals you need, but it just needs to be descriptive. So this number should describe um, the problem. Okay. Point zero, 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 four, nine, five. What is the probability of dealing a flush of any suit? Okay. So... You know, look back at what we just did. A flush of hearts was this, but how many suits are there? There are four suits. So uh, can you see kind of an easy way of doing this? Just take that number times four. That's all we're going to have to do, okay? So mathematically, let's say we didn't have that number and hadn't just done that. What we would do basically is this. We would choose a suit... suit being hearts, diamonds, clubs, spades, okay? And then we would choose, my pen won't work. Five values, okay? And so that's like four choose one times 13 choose five. That would be your numerator basically over the total, which is 52 choose 5. Now that seems kind of silly to do it that way because we know already we're just going to multiply this number that we, we got in the last problem by 4. But that's what we're doing. That's what this does right here. That's 4. Okay, so we're taking the last problem times 4. It's going to be 4 times 1287 over 259-8960. And we're going to get about 0 0.00198. Part D says 
What is the probability of dealing a full house of aces and eights? I don't know if you remember, but in the last section, we did a counting problem like this, but now it's probability. We want the probability of ace, 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 eight, eight. Aces and eights. Okay. So how many ways of getting three aces? Well, think about it. Three aces out of how many aces? Four. So we're going to have four choose three. And how do we get those eights? Two eights out of how many eights? So four choose two to get the eights over 52 choose five. Now, again, what you could do is say, well, that's eight cards. I've got the aces and the eights taken care of. Um, 52 minus 8 is 44. So you would have 44 other cards to choose 0 from. All right. So if you, if you think about it that way, I like that because that adds up to 52. That shows me 52 choose 0. So um, 4 choose 3 is 4, and 4 choose 2 is 6. So we're going to have 24 over 259, 8, 9, 6, 0 which is about 0 0.00050926. 0, 0, 0, 0, Last one, what's the probability of dealing any full house? Now this one's kind of hard, okay? Um, so this is the hardest one yet. I'm going to get rid of this just to give myself more room. Um, okay, any full house. This is kind of tough because you have to pick... You have to pick value one and three suits, okay? So you have to pick whatever, ah, sorry. So you got one value and three suits and we have to choose value two and two suits. So if you think about it, we have to pick like, okay, I want kings. And so we're going to have king of hearts, king of spades, king of diamonds. And then I want seven. So I've got the seven of clubs and the seven of spades. Okay. So that's, that's kind of what I have to do. Pick a value and three suits, pick a second value and pick two suits. So then we're going to need to pick our groupings, all right? So to choose value one, you've got 13 values you could pick from. You've got to pick one of them. Pick a value. We picked kings. And to get the three suits, there are four suits, uh, clubs, spades, diamonds, and hearts. You're going to pick three of them. And then to get the second value... You no longer have 13 values to choose from because we picked the kings. You've only got 12 values to pick from, and we're going to choose one. And to get the two suits, you've got four suits, and you're going to pick two of them. That's your numerator. Your denominator is still 52 choose 5. It's part of our total. So 13 choose 1. Anything choose 1 is just going to be that number. It's 13, and 4 choose 3 is 4, and 12 choose 1 is 12, and 4 choose 2 is 6. So if we multiply that, 13 times 4 times 12 times 6, we get 3744 over 2, 5, 9, 8, 9, 6, 0. Oh. is about 0 0.00144. Full house.